This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. The stage is set and the players are just about ready here in Manchester. We're at the home of City this evening. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Manchester City up against Sporting. Well Derek, what a semi-final we should be in store for today. Yes, the hosts are clear favourites to reach the final, but their opponents are dangerous and come here full of confidence, desperate to cause an upset. It has the makings of a very good game. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Alexander Zinchenko in the fullback positions. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Phil Foden in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. up for Sporting. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation, but without wing-backs. So although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Paulinho. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Well, spot on with that challenge. Ruben Diaz. Well, Jack Grealish is such a natural talent, isn't he, Stuart? Reasonable to assume that he'll have his say in this game. Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. Oh, hang on, Stuart, big chance here. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the action continues. Let's see if Sporting can come up with an equaliser. A lot to like about this Sporting move. Pedro Porro. And now Paulinho. Keeping the ball moving. Brilliantly blocked.
Alexander Zinchenko. Grealish. Fernandinho. Grealish. Putting his body on the line. Foden. Now Mares. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Here's the replay, and just look how close this is. May not have been given in my day, but the technology certainly shown its worth here. So, 2-0 now. Might be able to set up the chance. But how well he did to cut that one out. Foden. It's with Gundogan. Lost possession. Riyad Mahrez. On to Jesus. Gundogan. Will it happen for them? On to Grealish. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Is looking rather comfortable for them. 3 0. Please meet your wife at the ticket office. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. And he whips it in. Well, the danger is still there. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Grealish. Riyad Mahrez. Gabriel Jesus. Mahrez. Joao Cancelo. Spot on with that tackle. Oh, 
and it wasn't really the ideal pass it'll be a throw well, possibilities inside the box Mares now Gundogan Mares really vital interception Pablo Sarabia excellent vision thwarting him not the best challenge free kick So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Gundogan. Every pass hitting its target. Could play it in. Alexander Zinchenko. Fine cross into the middle. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Paulinho. A really sumptuous ball. A really top-notch piece of defending. Fernandinho. Phil Foden now. Excellent challenge. Mateus Reis. Can they convert? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Let's see about the delivery. Taking care of business defensively here. Well, they know they need to stop him. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Marcus Edwards. And space for the cross. Intercepting it intelligently. Grealish. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. 
and scope for them to produce something exciting but really sticking to their task defensively now let's see if something comes of this offside it is but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision well it's fine margins isn't it but in the end he just went too early And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number 25, Fernandinho, to be replaced by number 16, Rodri. Jesus, the ball with Rodri. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Alexander Zinchenko. Excellent passing. Gabriel Jesus! Oh, yes! What a classy goal! And make no mistake, there aren't many in the game who would have the confidence to even try it. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper and that seemed to catch him off guard a really good controlled finish a change in the offing for City Well, the action underway again. So comfortable for City, it's turning into a trouncing. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Well, he can consider himself admonished, even in the absence of a yellow card. Grealish Rodri now with Jesus Grealish a goal an exceptional performance this four to the good now well here's the replay and in many ways it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build up just so composed, waiting for the right moment. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. On and on he goes. Crossing possibilities. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Alexander Zinchenko. Gundogan. Grealish. It's with Gundogan. Sterling. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? So two substitutes to come on in one go. Now, how about the short corner? Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Keen to take it short here. 
Well, trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. Can someone get on the end of this? And clearing it away. And Sterling has it. Sterling. Gundogan. Going well. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they can add. Okay. It's with Gundogan. And a chance to whip it in here. Grealish. And a tidy tackle. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. Slimani. Tremendous ball played through. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Silva. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Gundogan. Grealish. Can he find the net? And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Let's see about the delivery. A decisive clearance it was. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Who can they pick out? Well, no problems defensively. Full time then, and the lead belongs to Manchester City after 90 minutes. Well, they were really good today. Their approach play, their movement off the ball, and of course their finishing were excellent, as was their work rate. A disciplined performance in the second leg, and they're into the final. So much to admire about the performance put in by Gabriel Jesus. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.